Number one is Epicenter, trained by Steve Asmussen and ridden by Brian Joseph Hernandez Jr. $70,000 in 2021, two starts, one first place finish, sixth place at Churchill Downs, and that was on September 18th with a 78 e-speed figure, but then a great improvement to first place, 97 e-speed figure at Churchill Downs on November 13th. So a bit of a longer layoff for this horse, and I like to see the improvement in the caliber of performance going from sixth place to first place. I don't really know if that's going to be a good enough record for this horse, so I'm going to say middle of the pack, fourth place for Epicenter. Number two is Wait a Minute Hayes out of Kentucky and trained by Ricky Corville. It's $57,000 this year, 81 e-speed figure in a second place at the Delta Downs, and then followed by a first place at the Delta Downs on November 6th with a 74 e-speed in the allowance. So improved to a listed stakes race at Delta Downs, but these are both at Delta Downs, which is not as good as Churchill Downs for the previous horse that I just discussed. And going from first place to second place, even though there was an up in, uh, in the class there, I don't really like to see that, even though it was a little bit of a faster race and a little lower on the earnings side. So wait a minute, Hayes is going to be my fifth selection for this race. Number three is Rocket Dog, trained by Brad Cox and ridden by Florent Giroud. $69,000 this year, only one start, and that was at Churchill Downs. Maiden special weight, 89 e-speed figure, and that was on November 19th, so less than a month layoff, and a maiden special weight won that race, came in first place in his very first performance of his entire career. So I like to see that coming right off the bat. Rocket Dog doing pretty well, uh, bringing in some good earnings in that $105,000 maiden special weight race. So Rocket Dog is going to be my second pick for this race. Number four is Surfer Dude out of Kentucky, $103,000 brought in this year. And some people might point to five tries at the maiden special weight level, mostly at Churchill Downs or Keeneland. But what I like to see here is that this horse has experience in this sort of type of race. We're gonna be racing with some of these other younger horses. And then improvement, you see going from fifth place to third place to third place to first place and an improvement in the speed from 74 to 87 to 92. So Churchill Downs finally finishing on November 28th, a little less than a month ago at Maiden Special Weight first place for Surfer Dude. So Surfer Dude's gonna be my third pick for this one. Number five, Kevin's Folly, and third place in the allowance optional claiming at Churchill Downs on November 27th. Not too bad there, but eighth place in the grade one Claiborne Breeders Futurity at Keeneland. And yes, that was a grade one race, but that is a futurity race. So racing against some of these newer horses, eighth place in that one, it ran pretty slow. Third place in the hopeful stakes, grade one at Saratoga. So uh, this horse is, uh, hasn't really proven that he can win recently, which is something that I'm a little worried about. And third place in the allowance optional claiming a drop in class, an increase in, in performance, but still not really enough to get that victory. So Kevin's following is going to be my seventh selection for this race. Tejano Twist has raced eight times in his career, most recently first place at Churchill Downs in the listed stakes, Lively Shively Stakes, first place there, 96 e-speed figure, and then right before that, Allowance Optional Claiming, first place there, and second place in the Kip DeVille Stakes, second place in the Exacta Systems Rosie Stakes at Colonial Downs and Remington Park. So this horse has been going from some of the lower level tracks like Colonial Downs and Remington Park, moving up to Keeneland and Churchill Downs, so some of the top tracks. And then first place two times in a row, once in October, once in November most recently, with some pretty high e-speed figures and a listed stakes most recently. So uh, Tejano Twist, it's taken him a little bit of a while, but he has done pretty well this year, coming in either first or second in six out of his eight races with $260,000 to show for it and two back-to-back -back victories. So Tejano Twist is my pick to win this race. Next up, number seven is Rich Strike, $36,000 brought in this year. That's on the lower end. Three races, once at Ellis Park, came in dead last in that one, made in special weight. Then improved uh, going to Churchill Downs and actually won that one, maiden claiming race. Uh, so a little bit of a drop in class uh, and the uh, improvement in how that horse finished there. But then third place is allowance optional claiming at Keeneland, which isn't so bad considering it's Keeneland and it's allowance optional claiming. So this horse is going up after winning that maiden claiming victory. Uh, so maybe Rich Strike could be a little bit of a sleeper for this one, but uh, I'm not really too confident. I'm going to say sixth place for Rich Strike. 